So, Georgie, tell me what it was like the first time you saw James in full makeup. Um, it was very weird, and I thought, what have they done to James? <laughs> but you get used to it, and it becomes an everyday thing to see James in full form get up. Yep, looking like an idiot. Not so much an idiot. In my green pants, I look like a bit of an idiot. Yeah, you, you've got you've got me there. Yeah, I look like an idiot. I in can't green, really lie. Green tights with orange ping pong balls all over the legs. Very nice. fetching. Nice. Pull the birds that way. <laughs> anyway. So uh, tell me about how you both got the part. Um, you go first. Okay. Uh, I put myself on tape, sent it off to the director. He saw it and offered me the part. And that was the simplest I have ever been cast. The simplest. So. Never been that easy. Um, well, I went through a series of auditions which lasted for about 18 months, a year and a half. And um, I went to about eight auditions. And um, yeah, there were like workshops and read throughs and a screen test at the end. And then at the end, I got a call and I got the part. So, 18 months to about a week. All right. Made it. Quite different in our casting process. Quite different. Is there anything special that goes into playing a fawn for a casting process? Um, I, no, not really. I think you've got to find the heart and soul of the guy before you find his feet, before you find his cloven hooves. Um, I was familiar from, with the book from the age of like 10. And uh, so I'd been, and I'd reread it a few times just for my own pleasure. I was quite familiar with the character by like for about 15 years then. I'd been thinking about this guy on and off and every now and again just having a wee thought about him. So when it came to actually personifying him and characterising him, acting him, it wasn't very difficult at all. Um, I'd been, I felt like he, he was a little bit, as weird as this sound, in me anyway, do you know what I mean? It, was, it wasn't a big ask. Any soreness from walking around your tippy toes? Yeah, I got, a lot of, I got a lot of pain in my thighs and that was quite sore and bending my knees. It wasn't the tippy toes so much, it was the bending my knees and on being on tiptoes. So sure. Yeah, come on. I kind of, on tiptoes, bent knees, like that. All day. Yeah, and Georgie's fantastic at it. Nice, so she got to practice it too. She got to she pretend to be Mr. Thomas. She can take your part in the next one. She's got it, I'm telling you man, she's, she's, and she's undercutting me with the old budget as well. <laughs> nice. She's gonna do it for half price. I can't, yeah. I can't compete with that. What can you do? So how is working with the CG? How is it acting opposite things that just aren't there? Surprisingly, weird at first, but you just get used to it and it becomes quite easy in the end. It got quite easy in the end, didn't it? Yeah. And uh, you're both up for returning. Has Andrew uh, said anything about Prince Caspian and that type of stuff? We'd be on the, the first on the plane. Yeah, we'd be the first on the plane. If to there was a sequel. Them. You're waiting there already, huh? But yeah. we don't have a clue. No, we don't. We know that they're interested in doing it. But they're just waiting to see how this one does. See that first Which week in opening numbers, and then you'll get the call. Oh my God, the figures are unbelievable. We're making a sequel. James, <laughs> Georgie, get on the plane. We'll be there. <laughs> what were both of your favorite parts of the Narnia world, the sets? No. What was the most fantastic? Set. Yeah. The most fantastic set. Mm -hmm. um, Mr. Tumnus's house. Oh uh, yeah, Mr. Tumnus's house, definitely. I was going to say something else, but you're right, Mr. Tumnus's house. What were you going to say? I was going to say the natural boulders that were up in Arthur's Pass where we filmed all the battle scene and stuff. Where the fight between Peter and the witch takes place. Well, I didn't actually film there, so... You did one day. I didn't, You actually. did? Oh, I promise you, you did. I was there with you when we were on top of that cliff. Yeah, but that's not like the actual rocks where they fight. Oh my God, that's so right. Anyway. Mm. Mm. On that note, thank you very much. Thanks very thank much. <laughs> Good job on the